Hello, and welcome back to the Dacia campaign. Last time we marched in from all sides, closed in on the Brutii, and took out all of the armies they had in the field on the mainland of Greece. So all they have left here is stuck inside Apollonia, Cornelius the Wrathful, and a couple of really weak units. So I don't really think they have a chance. Next turn, once we get some siege equipment, this should be a pretty easy battle with all these long-range archers, with hoplites, falksmen, and heavy cavalry. I don't really see how they survive the next turn. And after that, I might just hop on over and knock out Tarentum and Crodon because they don't have much strength. We can only see Tarentum, and they have three units here. And we killed, I think, two Brutii in the field last part, and then their faction leader up here, I think, died of old age. Cornelius the Wrathful will die soon. And then they can't have that many more generals. So their faction might be on the way out in the next few turns. We'll see. I'm sure it'll take a while to take these cities if we do decide to do that. But I don't know if I really need to hold on to these cities. I don't know if I need to knock out all of the Romans this early in the campaign. It would be a very different campaign than the Spanish one if we do manage to do that. Just because we'd have no late game Romans. So we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll go with the flow. We might end up knocking out the Romans if it works out that way. In the north, Skylurus is squared up with Captain Eminos and his massive army of horse archers with experience. Nine missile attack. Yeah, these guys are scary. So our only good chance in this battle is to fight them on this bridge. That's why we're hanging out here and not starting a battle this turn. We're hoping that Captain Eminos attacks us here so we can fight him on the bridge, have that defensive advantage of bottlenecking the horse archers, and hopefully we can win that and then move on to taking out their capital at Tenace. We've also started the process of building a little bit of an army in Byzantium and Tylus. We're going to build some chosen archer warband, some chosen swordsmen, and we're planning to send them over to Nicomedia to help out our allies, the Greeks, who've just declared war on Pontus. We want to get a piece of the action because neither of our campaigns so far we've fought any middle eastern factions we fought carthage we fought in europe but we haven't fought against pontus egypt armenia any of those factions so i want to do that in this campaign and i want to do it soon we're going to start building an army here slowly you know in a way that we can afford um, but one thing we don't have here is a general to accompany this army into pontus so we need to look at our generals see who would be a good candidate for that speaking of generals we had a couple of really amazing generals at the start of the campaign. We have Vetsina, who's a really good general. Skyles, who's an amazing general. But the second generation of generals has been kind of lackluster. Duras is pretty bad at 34 years old. Desineu is okay, but up here, Zalmoxis is pretty bad. So yeah, not looking great. But one general who I think would be a decent candidate is Kodoso. He has bloody for plus one morale. He has four command stars and he is only 30 years old. So he's got some life in him yet. So I'm going to send Kodoso south to Apollonia. He's going to pick up some retinue from Skyles, maybe a famous warrior or something like that, just to get a little bit better. And then we'll send him over to Asia Minor to help out with the invasion of Pontus. And we also have Vetsina, our faction leader. He's bringing some basic reinforcements and he's going to march south to lead the front against the Macedonians. We have been kind of putting together a small little army, some onagers, some chosen archer warband inside of this fort. And we're gonna have him come down and just reunite with this army and start picking apart the Macedonians slowly so we can eventually pick up Corinth and Athens and knock the Macedonians out of the game. But something we have to be careful of is we have plague in Larissa and Thurman. So if he goes through the city like this, then he'll get plague again. And then the next time he goes to Larissa, he'll give them the plague again. And this will go on forever. So we want this to end. We're going to have him go the long way around these mountains so he doesn't go through Larissa and he doesn't get the plague. And hopefully plague will go away in the next couple of turns. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Hopefully we get attacked by the Scythians at the end of this turn, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We're being spied on by the Macedonians, which is not good because we have plague in that city. So that spy is going to continue spreading plague to all of my cities, unfortunately. The Parthians want trade rights, which I will absolutely take. And I want map information out of them. So let's see if we can get that. I want to know how well they're doing. 
looks like they're actually doing really well. They picked up some of the Seleucids land. They picked up a rebel settlement. So they're doing pretty well for the Parthians. And yes, Captain Eminos has attacked Skylurus on this bridge. So that's amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. We should have the advantage here, but we still need to use our long range archers intelligently. And this is a pretty basic bridge battle. Just this small bridge. There aren't any crossing spots on this river. So it should be pretty easy to just guard this one hole. And if they try to cross the bridge, then they'll get targeted by my archers. They'll break and the battle should be over. But I don't want to do what I usually do for bridge defenses, where I put heavy infantry right against the bridge. Because with all those horse archers, they will just rip apart my heavy infantry. And we don't want to lose our heavy infantry this early into the invasion of Scythia. So I'm going to line up my Chosen Swordsman a little bit further back than I normally would with some Warhounds and all of the light and heavy cavalry. They're just going to hang out back here. And so that way, if they want to fight us hand to hand, they have to push all the way into our area and they'll have taken a lot of damage from our archers. And yeah, it won't be good for them. And our standard archer warband, we're going to send up closer because they have shorter range they're going to take a lot of damage from the scythian horse archers who have the same amount of range as they have so we'll set them to loose formation and we'll push them closer to the river's edge um, once the battle starts our chosen archer war band we have five units so we'll put two units over here and maybe three units over here and that way they'll just be trading shots with the scythian horse archers Hopefully the Scythians will not have range. I think they won't have range. Let's see. Yeah, we're just barely in range of the river's edge over here. So we should have range on them, but they shouldn't have range on us. And our Scythian mercenaries, we will send to the back. We don't want to use them in this battle. They won't be that useful. And we don't want to just take any casualties that we don't need to take. We'll have Skylurus right up here with the infantry and cavalry for the morale benefit in case we need that. And let's see how they draw up. Yep, nice and wide. Let's go ahead and pull up our archers a little bit closer. They can start trading shots with the Scythian horse archers. And some of our archers have started firing over here. Who are they firing at? Yeah, they're firing at these Scythian horse archers. So hopefully they'll take a lot of damage here. They're not too accurate at this range, but yeah, we're doing good damage. We'll start chunking away at all these units. Anyone getting fired at over here? Yep. Looks like this weakest unit's getting targeted, so that's not ideal. Let's turn off fire at will. We don't want to waste any arrows on this really weak unit. Instead, we will target this unit and this unit. That's a better use of our arrows. We'll land a lot more of them firing at a bigger unit. Our basic archer warband unit is getting shredded, honestly, but they're, they're firing back and forth at the horse archers. They'll probably deal as many casualties as they take. And yeah, they're really not important to this battle. They're just buying time for the rest of the archers. Over here, we're starting to waste our arrows on these smaller units. Can we reach other units? Let's see, not quite. Once a bigger unit comes in range, we'll target that unit. But for now, we'll just fire at these little units of 25, 26, 30. Yeah. And let's check on our archers over here. This unit's down to 51. Can we target a bigger unit? Okay, unit 95, we'll target them. And we're gonna turn on guard mode. We don't want them to be chasing a unit that runs away. So yeah, we'll fire at the general's unit, the commander's unit over here. And maybe we'll get lucky and kill the commander himself. That will help with morale a little bit. Yeah, definitely doing a lot of damage to this unit. How are we doing? Everyone everyone happy? I mean, this unit is not happy. We're going to lose this entire unit of Archer Warband, but that's all right. I was kind of counting on that anyways. We'll speed this up a little bit, but we want to be careful that we don't miss if they try to charge across the river. So yeah, they're just kind of moving around, firing arrows back and forth. That's fine. We have some Axemen charging across the river. This is their only heavy infantry. They're down to 28. We'll just let them... We'll just let them... Yeah, they're broken already. We'll stop firing at them. We don't want to waste any arrows on a broken unit of Axemen. Yeah, we already did waste some. Okay, here we go. So we have cavalry charging across the river. Let's turn on fire at will. 
We're going to use War Cry with our Chosen Swordsman. And we want to get ready with our cavalry to charge in as well. All right. So we have one unit over here that's already broken. Okay. We're going to charge right in. And we want to hold back a little bit with our general. We don't want to lose any of him just to not risk the general himself. But I think we can cause a general route here by just charging in. Yep, they're breaking already. General's unit's broken. And we're just going to run down as many of the enemy as we can. Perfect, we got the enemy commander. And yeah, they're just there in the blender here. They're getting slaughtered. They have no chance, really. And the entire army is just getting run down by my light cavalry. Ooh, this is brutal. Yeah, this is not the way you want to go. Scythians just threw away one of their best armies. Never attack across a bridge unless you have a really good plan. Just, just don't even try it. It's not going to work. We've killed 88% of the enemy army, and we've killed the enemy commander. So the army will disband as soon as the battle's over. But there's still some troops that haven't broken who just never crossed the river. So we'll go ahead and send our cavalry to chase them. Stop firing arrows. What are you doing? Why are you shooting into this block of allies? All right. But yeah, our light cavalry, I don't think they have any chance of catching this uh, archer unit. But they'll disband anyway, so that's all right. Yep, but that's a nice easy victory. We lost 197 troops. Most of them were these archer warband. That's all right. We lost some Barbarian Cavalry, that kind of stuff. We lost 10 Chosen Archer Warband, but that's okay. Not too many casualties for destroying such an important army. We shall rule. And we have a candidate for adoption who, this is interesting, Kodoso is adopting another guy named Duras, who is a little bit better than the other Duras. Sure, I think it's funny to have two Durases. So now we have Duras in Segestiga and Duras at Apollonia. So that's that's interesting. Um, let's send the second Duras from Segestica to, I don't know, do we want to keep him up here to help out with the Gauls? That might not be a bad idea. We'll send him around to drop a few watchtowers and then, yeah, I don't know what to do with him. Well, he's pretty good. We might, we might just keep him in this area in case he's needed. Let's take a look at our end of turn report. We lost 4,400 denarii that turn because we're spending a lot on construction and recruitment right now. That's understandable. The plague in Larissa and Thurman has killed another 500 people. Part of two is sick. That's okay. When will this go away? I hate these spies that keep making this plague go on forever. And the Broody I have brought some reinforcements to Apollonia. Let's see what they brought. Just some Roman archers, cavalry auxilia. Nothing too good. We should be able to handle them pretty easily. Let's check our faction announcements. Part of Chua got Wise Man for plus one management. That's okay. That's that's helpful somewhat. I wish there would be no more plague in the city, but oh well. Let's uh, bring down the tax rate here. I forgot to do that. That helps with the plague a little bit. But honestly, I don't think the population even decreases anymore since it's already at 500. I know it can go down to 400, but... I don't know if it goes lower than 500 with plague, so I don't know if it really matters having a lower tax rate. You know, let's just let's just crank up the tax rate as high as it can go because it won't make any difference in this case. And let's take a look at our construction report. Oh yeah, we built a whole lot of stuff. At Larissa, we have an archery range. At Salona, we have communal farming. We're going to hold off in both of those cities because we don't have too much money right now. We don't really need anything in these cities. Would a port be helpful? It says a port would make no difference to trade in Larissa, but I don't believe that. It's pretty cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and build a port because I want to start establishing trade routes with Larissa. I feel like we just we just haven't had a city establish a trade route yet. And that's why it's saying there's going to be no increase to trade. I don't believe that though. But also it says we already have zero trade in the city just based on roads. So I don't really know what's going on in Larissa. Maybe we don't have any resources here. But we have slaves. I think you can trade that. So I don't really know... What's going on with Orissa? That's, that's frustrating. But yeah, in Salona, we don't need to buy anything. It's a pretty unimportant city right now until it gets a little bit bigger. So we'll leave that for now. At Segestica, we have a practice range. And we'll go straight to an archery range here. Even though we don't want to be spending too much money right now, it's important for us to have uh, chosen archers at Segestica to deal with the Gauls. At Tylus, we have a trader. And 
ah, I don't really want to get a Hall of Heroes. Can I not do it? No, we kind of need it. We need it either in Byzantium or Tylus. And Tylus has the morale building. So we should really get a Hall of Heroes. I know we're spending too much money. But you just get these upgrades once. And then this is the highest level of city. And you never have to do it again. So it's worth doing in the early game. At Poralissum, we have Stables. We could go straight to uh, Warlord Stables, but I'm not going to. This city has plenty of troop infrastructure already. We're going to leave that alone for now. We don't need to do anything there. Now, we have a lot to do this turn. So first off, we have a clear path to the Scythian capital now. So we'll march Skyluris into Scythian territory. And Tanais is just one turn away. They have a family member here who doesn't look good at all. And they only have one unit of Force Archers. They have some Archer Warband, but I think we can take them. These Long Range Archers will do really well against their Short Range Archers. So Tanais shouldn't be too hard. We should be all right there. We could buy some Mercenaries, but I don't think we need them yet. We'll hold off for now. Let's take a look at our finances. How are we doing so far? We aren't in the red yet for the turn, so that's good. Hopefully it stays that way, but I, I tend to spend a lot of money. Let's bring this Warband back to Salona. It was just scouting out for that faction leader of the Broody Eye, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, oh my goodness. I was convinced that he was dead of old age. He's just hanging out in the mountain over here. I'm going to kill him this turn. I'm glad I had this spy around. Cassie's Brutus is just by himself hanging out in the mountains. I don't know what he was maybe hoping to reunite with this army and defend Apollonia, but yeah, Vetsina is going to kill him this turn. So this will be a faction leader on faction leader battle. That'll be fun. I was about to send him south, but a good thing I checked first. And at Salona, did I want to disband any units? I honestly, I think I do. Let's disband two units of Warband, because that'll help a little bit. It'll save us 400 upkeep to not have those two units. And it increases the population a little bit. We want to get this to a minor city as quickly as possible. So I think that was worth doing. Kodoso can keep marching south. He'll just sit in Salona overnight and then we'll march him south. And after we take Apollonia, we'll give some retinue from Skylys to him. Oh, Skylys has gone so gray. 50 years old is, I guess, when you switch over to being real old in this game. So both Vetsina and Skylys are old men now. Austere. Yeah, he needs to give over some retinue before he gets too old here. All right, so we have some battles to do here. Let's first take on Cassius Brutus. I know this isn't the best army. We don't have an overwhelming advantage, but I don't always need an overwhelming advantage, you know? Metzina has 85 heavy cavalry. Cassius Brutus has 99. I'm going to try it. I've been secretly trying to kind of lose Vetsina for a while because I really want Skylys to have a chance of being the faction leader at some point. But... If it happens, it happens. But I think we can win this. And the Lyrians are not worthless against heavy cavalry. They're just they're just kind of worthless against heavy cavalry. But we're going to try it out. I might be able to win this. And it just kind of depends on who gets lucky with killing the general himself. Ooh, we got a nice, pretty structure here. Some ruins. Could be kind of useful, but I'd rather use high ground if we have it. So let's see if we can seize the high ground. We're going to have Vatsina up here. These mercenary hoplites are not going to be very useful at all. We don't want them to be a liability and cause a break if they break. But we will use our Illyrians as kind of frontline infantry. And then hopefully they don't break on impact though. But let's just see if we can maneuver and get to higher ground. And maybe sort of push Cassius Brutus off the high ground a little bit. So let's have them reposition. We're going to have the hoplites not be in phalanx position. We want them to be mobile. All right. Can we can we push them off the high ground? It looks like it's working. I think because we're the ones who started this battle, they're not going to charge into us. So we're kind of pushing them back a little bit. Yeah, they're... Well, they're kind of even ground. Are they going to run away? I think he's running away. Okay. He doesn't want to fight. The Broody Eye are such cowards. Can you believe it? So he's marching south. No, don't go to this army. If he sits in this army... Oh, I, I was going to say, that was that was going to make me really angry. But honestly, this isn't ideal because... Now he's going to get sucked into this battle at Apollonia. Oh, jeez. 
That was actually maybe the worst case scenario. I didn't think that would happen. Hmm. Okay. Do we just start this battle at Apollonia? All right. I'm no coward. I'm not. I'm not like Cassius Brutus. So I'm gonna start this battle. We'll see if he gets sucked in. He definitely will. But we just need to remember where everyone is. So Cornelius the Raffle is inside the city. Cassius Brutus is to the northeast of the city, and Captain Marcellus is to the west of the city. So. Oh man, 100 Heavy Cavalry just got introduced to this battle. I think I can still handle this. We're going to do our best. I just need to win in the city. We have so many long-range archers. Ah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. All right, so like I said, we're in the north. In the northeast, that's where Cassius Brutus is going to come from. So we'll get our Scythians in this area to skirmish with Cassius Brutus, and we're going to have all of our heavy cavalry here as well. We want to kind of spawn kill him and get him out of the battle early. And then do we want to try to intercept the other reinforcing army as well? I think so. So we're going to, I think they're, they're coming from probably right over here. They're from the west. So let's get our long-range archers here. And then we will guard them with some hoplites and falksmen. And we're going to bring a ram over here in case we need it. Well, maybe we'll bring it closer because we don't want to have to lug it all this way. So put it right here and leave the ram there. And then we'll put the falksmen over here. And the Cretans can... Maybe they'll, they'll work on it from this angle. They can get some shots on whoever's nearby. So we'll have them drop the siege equipment here. And all right, let's see how this goes. So over here, we misjudged slightly where Cassius Brutus would be coming from. He's coming from over here. So let's get our horse archers over here. They're going to get some shots in. And then we will have our generals come over here to intercept. We were correct on this front, and yeah, they're going to get slaughtered pretty easily here. Astati are going to get shredded. Cavalry Auxilia, yeah, no, they don't have a chance here, really. We will check in with them in a minute. Over here, our horse archers are not quite in range. Cassius Brutus is in no hurry to get on the battlefield. I'm just hoping he doesn't make contact with our Scythians, because that would not be good. We want to make sure we shield with our warlords. So let's get our warlords right here and honestly i'm tempted to charge down the hill but i want to get some shots in with my archers first that'll do good damage down to 99 let's check in over here yeah this is going really well all these units are getting shredded they have no chance in this battle so we're going to leave them alone for now let's check on the situation with cassius brutus all right, he's down to 95, and he's just walking slowly. So he's going to take the maximum amount of damage because he's just hanging around. We're going to hang out here, and if he charges us, we want to charge back to get the charge bonus. What, what are you shouting about? This is, this is a lot. They're freaking out over here. You hear this? All right, this is perfect. Best way to take out a faction leader is just slowly, slowly... Wearing them down. These Velotes are trying to make it back to the city center. I'm going to shoot them with one of my units of archers. And have the other ones focus on... What's the toughest unit here? Yeah, we'll shoot these Cavalry Auxilia. That's fine. Maybe these Roman archers. I guess they're probably shooting at us, so... May as well get rid of them first. And we'll try to intercept these Cavalry Auxilia with my Falksmen. Get some kills on them. Perfect. Killed their commander, so that's good. Over here, Cassius Brutus charged in and just got slaughtered. So let's just run down this unit of cavalry so none of them go back to the city center. Perfect. Got them all. And we will bring the cavalry back over to help out over here. Let's check on our infantry over here. Yeah, they're pursuing. No need. This is just a couple soldiers. Let's bring all of our infantry that we sent over here up to the ram. We'll send the Falksmen to pick up the ram, and we'll start working on this gate. Over here, our Cretans are hanging out with the ram. There's no enemies in range. Well, actually, there would be some enemies in range. 
We'll bring up the ram a little bit, and then we'll see if we can get some shots on the troops inside the city. Over here, yeah, we have we have some troops that might have a shot inside the city. Can we shoot at the general? Yeah, we'll get some shots on the general. Let's get all our archers up here, and we will start working on the gate. See if we can get some kills with our chosen archer warband. Yeah, they don't quite have a shot. Over here, Cretans. Let's drop the ram for a second. Do you have a shot in anyone? Drop here. You have a shot. You don't have a shot in this Valtes? Really? Feels like you should. You're long range archers. Get them a little closer, see if they have a shot. Yeah, they have a shot. There we go. Get some shots on these Velites. Perfect. And we'll turn on guard mode. We don't want them to wander off. Over here, yeah. Oh, you guys are just not on fire at will. I'm such an idiot. Go back to fire at will. Get some shots in on these Histadi, on these Velites. Perfect. Over here, the Cretans are out of range of the Velites because they got a little closer. Let's push them back a little bit. We don't want to take any damage from these Velites. There we go. And that's a better shot anyways. So start firing these Velites. And honestly, we could bring up the Scythians. See if we can get some shots in with them. Let's draw them up like right here. So they're not in range of a tower. Get some shots on anyone who comes over here. And then, uh, yeah, what are we shooting at over here? I think we killed this unit. Let's get the Cretans a little closer. See if we can tempt the general over here if they wander back into range um, into pushing closer to us at the ends what do we how do we take damage here we lost a couple to a tower that's all right go this direction we don't want to lose any more over here these chosen archers have done a lot of damage to the units that have wandered into range let's see what's left so we have what is this that's basically nothing over here we have one unit of town watch and then uh this is what cornelius the wrathful that's his name i think yeah i'm not too worried about this army let's go ahead and start knocking down walls we can just send in some heavy cavalry some archers and finish off this army we'll send our cretans to pick up the ram and knock down this gate and let's check on the gate over here yep we're out of arrows over here unfortunately but We've knocked down the gate. Let's send our hoplites up here to guard the gate in case Cornelius the Wrathful gets wrathful. And we'll have the Folksman guard that way. Just like this. The Velites are firing off their javelins, but there are like eight of them. Yeah, that's okay. I'm all right with that. Not too much of a threat. Over by the Cretans. We've knocked down the gate, so we can send in our heavy cavalry. They will just secure the street, and then we'll send in our archers to start working on the general's unit. All right, we've secured this street. Let's move our generals over there. We'll get our Cretans inside the city. Over here, what's happening with these folks? Oh, they're just getting hit by the Veltas. Just go kill the Veltas. I don't know what I'm doing. Go kill them. All right, get back out. And let's see if we can get a shot with our Cretans. Not quite. We'll get a little closer, get our generals up to here. Can we can we pull this street here? Just go there. Cretans, you don't have a shot, right? Yeah, we do. We have a shot on something. I think just these cavalry auxilia. Get some shots in on them. We'll just let them keep firing at whatever comes in range. Okay, Roman generals in range and charging into my generals units. So let's engage them. We outnumber them like three to one here, but I mean, we can always lose a general. So hopefully we don't lose Skyly's the Conqueror here. Cornelius the Wrathful is outnumbered drastically here. Can we, can we win this? Perfect. Killed Cornelius the Wrathful. We don't need to chase him. We'll just shoot him in the back with Cretans. And hopefully we can kill a few more horses before they make it to the city center. Not quite, that's okay. We'll get our generals over here and then we'll push up our Cretans to here. They should have a shot on the city center from there. Yeah, Cornelius the Wrathful's bodyguard. They're trying to reform, but they're wavering. They'll break again. 
I don't really know what their plan is here. Come on, guys. Broken. We might kill them all here, though. That's good. Perfect. So now they just have one cavalry auxilia and a unit of town watch. So. And our Cretans are on their way, and we'll just pick them apart. You know what? Actually, I'm going to hold off on that. Because I've been wanting to see Falksmen in action. I feel like we haven't really gotten an up-close shot of Falksmen doing their thing. So I'm going to send the Falksmen in. And we're going to get Skylies nearby enough to provide a morale boost. And I just want to see if the Falksmen, 127 of them, can defeat a unit of Town Watch. This is just a little experiment, because I'm bored of using archers. All right, so Falksmen are almost to the city center. Let's draw them up right here. And then we'll use War Cry, and we'll charge them in, and we'll see how they perform against Town Watch. They should win this, but they don't have the unlimited morale from the city center, so they might lose it. We'll see. Town Watch seem intrigued. They're kind of doing a, a weird testudo, where like half of their shields are facing the wrong way. That's actually interesting. All right, they're getting charged. We use War Cry, and let's charge into these Town Watch. Let's see who wins this. All right, so right off the bat, we're taking heavy casualties, but we're actually in inflicting way heavier casualties on the enemy. They're down to 120, 118, 117. Yeah, we are quickly slaughtering this unit of Town Watch. So yeah, Falksmen, they, they work. They do the thing. Look at them go. I love just their animation. Looks so fun. I want to be a Falksman. Doesn't this look fun? Yeah, die, broody eye. They're getting shredded here. That war cry is just such a powerful ability. Morale is good, impetuous versus wavering. If they were off the city center, they would break. But they're not, so they're going to get shredded by my folksmen. I would not want to be a Roman playing against me. This does not look fun. They die so fast, it's crazy. They usually like take a couple hits, but no, they're just dead immediately. <laughs> they drop and they do not get back up. Volksmen are not bad. I'm impressed by this. Because their war cry is not even in effect anymore. It's only 30 seconds. Like I get shredding a unit when you have war cry enabled, but No, I'm impressed. I will be using more Volksmen after this. I think it's unfair that they've not gotten any experience yet because they just killed a unit of 161 Town Watch and only took like 40 casualties. Continue the battle. I want to kill this uh, Cavalry Auxilia. We're going to chase him down. Wait, we're going to use we're going to use Warcry first. Intimidate them. I love the like single javelin. It looks so weird when there's not a whole unit. It like goes in the wrong direction. All right, guys. Cut them down. Not really an impressive charge. You're just kind of standing around. There you go. Good job, guys. You did it. You won the battle. Another clear victory. Killed Cornelius the Wrathful, Cassius Brutus, and Captain Marcellus. No survivors. Let's see. Who did we lose the most of? So our chosen archer warband killed 249. Falksmen killed 217, well done. And we lost 82 Falksmen, that's all right. That was a good battle. With that, we've kicked the Brutii off of Greece. We've killed their faction leader and Apollonia is ours. I think we should enslave Apollonia just because there's not that much population here, and we'll get the population growth bonus to Apollonia and all of the neighboring cities. We really need that in Thurman and Larissa, the slave uh, population growth bonus, since they both have the plague. So I'm going to enslave Apollonia. There are 1,500 people in this city, so we won't build any troops. We're going to build communal farming here. Eventually, we'll tear down this temple and stuff. But for now, we want to get farming to get that growth rate up a little bit. But that 1.5% population growth rate from slavery is really nice. 
5% population growth rate's pretty good. Can we get it higher? Is it worth it? No, we don't want to lose 100 denarii just to get a little bit higher population growth rate. Honestly, we might even bring this up a little bit. Yeah, we want to max out our income as much as possible. Let's see how our finances are doing. Yeah, we're going to profit 2700 this turn. That's pretty good. All right, so Vitsina has chased off the faction leader, and he's dead now. So we can continue his old mission of going south to pick up Macedonian cities. And look at this. This empire is looking really strong. That block of brown is really scary. That was our 14th region. And, oh man, I'm so tempted to immediately just chase the Brutii and start taking their cities. So I will build at least one ship. Where do I want to build it, though? I would build it at Thurman because we have higher population here, but I don't know if ships pick up plague. I don't want to risk it. So at Apollonia, we're going to build one boat in the city and we'll put together a bit of an army, just some Scythians to roll around in southern Italy and see if we can pick up another couple of cities. This unit of Chosen Archer Warband can make it into the fort this turn. This is a pretty good defensive force if we were to get attacked here. I'm pretty confident about that. Thessalonica, we were building some onagers to send down the, to the fort. Honestly, I was thinking, with how small a fort is, I bet onagers would be a really good defensive unit. Because they would have range on most of the army from inside the fort. So, putting a couple onagers in a fort might be kind of the move. With that, I think this is a good place to end this part. If you're enjoying the series so far, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs as soon as possible. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit here. But yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. This was a really productive part. We finally knocked the Brutii off of Greece. And oh, I'm so excited to start taking their cities. But yeah, we'll also be marching south into Macedonia. We will be marching into Tenace and taking back another city from the Scythians. So this is a very exciting part of the campaign. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.